What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel today. I'm so excited to be bringing you guys five new things coming to Fortnite Battle Royale. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of items that were leaked in the game files and items that were confirmed by Epic to be coming to Fortnite in an upcoming update. Now it's possible that some of the things that I'm going to be going over in today's video may be coming to Fortnite as early as tomorrow morning so this is super exciting i can't wait to dive straight into today's video and with all of that being said let's get started taking a look at five new things coming to fortnite so the very first thing coming to Fortnite is actually a character skin and I've talked about it a couple of times here on my channel but I wanted to include it in today's video because it's a really awesome and unique looking character skin and if I'm not mistaken I believe it was leaked in the game files about a month ago. This is the Royal Bomber. The Royal Bomber is a really unique epic character skin so when it eventually comes to Fortnite it's going to be costing us 1500 V bucks. I don't know about you guys, but I think that this is a really creative looking skin And I honestly can't wait for it to come to the game as I mentioned earlier It was leaked in the game files about a month ago And it's kind of surprising how we've had other character skins leaked after the Royal Bomber was first leaked And all of those character skins have already come to Fortnite But we still do not have the Royal Bomber in Fortnite as well Now I've been told that it's also possible that the Royal Bomber will be available as the second PlayStation Plus pack. As you guys know, and not too long ago, PlayStation Plus members exclusively on the PlayStation were able to receive the blue team leader as an exclusive PlayStation Plus character skin. So if you have PlayStation Plus, which gives you the ability to play a bunch of other online games on the PlayStation, that means you automatically received the blue team leader character skin. And so I've been told the Royal Bomber may just be another PlayStation exclusive skin. Now, I really hope that's not the case because I'm hopeful that other players who are on the Xbox will also be able to get this awesome skin because it's a super cool looking one. I cannot wait for it to officially come to Fortnite. As I said, it was leaked in the game files a long, long time ago. And because of that, it is expected that the Royal Bomber will be coming to Fortnite very soon. So moving on to the next thing coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, this is actually a character emote and like the Royal Bomber, it was leaked in the game files a pretty long time ago and I'm honestly extremely surprised that we have still yet to receive this emote within Fortnite. This is the Rocket Spinner. Now the Rocket Spinner is very similar to the Rocket Rodeo character emote in the sense where it actually involves a rocket or a couple of rockets in this dance or in this emote and it's a little bit weird how we have have all of these items leaked in the game files and they've been leaked for over a month and we still do not have them in Fortnite. However, there have been other items, other pickaxes, other emotes, other everything leaked in the game files after all of these things were leaked as well and we still do not have these items even though newer items have already come to Fortnite. Overall, the Rocket Spinner is a super awesome character emote and it should be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale extremely soon. So moving on to the next thing that is confirmed to be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, this is the shopping cart. Now for those of you who happen to have logged onto Fortnite at any point today, you guys should have been prompted with this news alert saying shopping cart coming soon, roll into battle alone or with a buddy. Now basically the shopping cart is essentially the first ever controllable vehicle in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now it's from my understanding that the shopping cart may actually actually be coming to Fortnite tomorrow morning because of course tomorrow morning we will be receiving a brand new update here in Fortnite Battle Royale that not only brings us the new set of weekly challenges but it is anticipated that it will be bringing the shopping cart alongside a couple of other features into the game. Now, the crazy thing about the shopping carts are the fact that it was actually leaked in the game files in patch volume 3.0. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that that's the patch update that introduced season 3 into Fortnite. And just to put that into context, we are currently on patch volume 4.2, so 12 patch updates ago, these shopping carts were found in the game files, and it makes sense that when they do eventually come to Fortnite, and as I said, it will most likely be tomorrow morning, these shopping carts will in fact be dry vehicles and that's because within the game files these shopping carts can be found in the folder titled drivable vehicles 
Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm actually pretty excited for these shopping carts to come to Fortnite, and the interesting thing about them is the fact that I don't think they're essentially going to be used as a method to travel a long distance within Fortnite. I really think that they're just going to be implemented to have some fun with your friends and troll or mess with other squads that you play against. I really don't think that they're going to be able to be used as a lot of people may think vehicles are going to be able to be used, so maybe it's possible that you can only use a shopping cart in a specific area of the map maybe it runs on gas or maybe there's some weird element to it which makes it so you can't drive it for a long distance so I definitely think that that would turn a lot of people off to using shopping carts and people would be upset with shopping carts coming to Fortnite if you could pretty much go wherever you'd like and these were basically a car in the form of a shopping cart but we'll see exactly the true functionality of these shopping carts when they do come to Fortnite and as I said earlier it is expected that the shopping carts alongside a couple of other new features will be coming to Fortnite tomorrow morning. I also wanted to go ahead and mention that one of the developers over at Fortnite posted this on Reddit. He said, to clarify, because part of the article might be taken out of context, we don't think there's a need for vehicles with the sole purpose of traversal. However, there are plenty of vehicles that could provide a unique or hilarious functionality aside from fast movement. So again, this sort of goes back to the idea that the shopping carts may not actually be used as a vehicle to travel extremely far in Fortnite, and instead, they're gonna be used to provide fun and hilarious moments within the game. So moving on to the next thing that is confirmed to be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, this is a feature or a system a lot of people really wish was not taken out of the game a little bit over a month ago. This is the refund system. As I said, the refund system was once in Fortnite for less than a couple of hours, and this took place a little bit over a month ago, and because of that, a lot of people have patiently been waiting for this refund system to actually come back to Fortnite. It's very self-explanatory, players are able to redeem up to three items that they had purchased within a 30 day period, whether it's a character skin, a glider, an emote, a pickaxe, whatever it may be, players can redeem up to three of these items throughout their entire lifetime and get the V-Bucks that they had originally purchased that character skin or other item for. Now, as I said, this was taken out of the game a little bit over a month ago and people were pretty upset about it. However, the developers said that there were some issues on the back end that required them to take it out of the game and because of that, players were pretty upset however imagine redeeming a 2000 v-buck character skin and not having the v-bucks show up in your account basically that is what was happening to players so of course the developers decided to take the refund system offline and fix all of those issues however it is confirmed that in the next update in fortnite the refund system will be coming back the developers said that by June 1st, the refund system will be back in Fortnite. However, it is expected that we will be receiving an update in Fortnite tomorrow morning. So either we're gonna be receiving the refund system back in Fortnite tomorrow, or we're gonna be receiving it either on or right before June 1st, which of course is just a couple of days away. So moving on to the last thing that is confirmed to be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, this is a brand new backpack feature or a backpack item. As of now, if I'm not mistaken, there are currently seven new backpack items leaked in the game files of Fortnite, and I sort of just wanted to group them all into one overarching backpack item. So just to give you guys a little bit of backstory, based on data mining, the jetpack which is currently in Fortnite was the first of many new additions to the game through the new backpack item feature. The following items are present in the same area as the jetpack labeled as boost jump pack. So as you guys can see within the game files, we can clearly see under the backpack folder, we have the boost jump pack, which is obviously the jetpack, the carmine pack, the eye of the storm tracker, the glider pack, intel pack, medic pack, missile battery and the test pack so as of now we really don't have much information on what all of these backpacks are in regard to the eye of the storm tracker the developers accidentally put it into the game the other day and basically this was a backpack that allowed us to see where exactly the storm eye was going to close throughout the entire duration of the game. However, the Eye of the Storm tracker pack was since taken out or removed from Fortnite because the developers were not exactly ready to eventually put it into 
Fortnite. But of course, all of these brand new backpack items were found in the game files, and that means they are confirmed to be coming to Fortnite Battle Royale in an upcoming update, and it's possible that that update may be early tomorrow morning. Regardless, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new. If you guys have yet to do so, please be sure to turn on those post notifications because I do upload daily Fortnite content here on my channel. With all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be sure to catch you guys later.